Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Manitowoc Garage. On this week's episode, we're going to cover cribbing mode that's been installed in the new TMS 9000-2 repower machines and additionally the upcoming TMS 800-2s. This feature is going to allow the front of the machine to stand on the standalone fifth jack and raising the front stabilizers to get additional cribbing and or dunnage underneath the machine. So folks, there's going to be two ways to utilize cribbing mode on the machines. Uh, the first way will be located on the carrier. Both sides of the machine has the uh, outrigger keypads. Um, you can utilize it from the outrigger keypads or you can utilize it from the superstructure cab via the operating display module or the ODM. Uh, first, we'll cover the keypads. Um, note, there is some requirements that must be met. Uh, the boom must be directly over the front or the rear of the machine. Um, it, mu it must be sufficiently elevated so that the front stabilizer is not overloaded. We've installed a transducer in the front jack to only allow a maximum of 4,500 pounds of pressure. Um, if the transducer reads an overload, you may need to position the boom at different angles to, uh, to vary the weight of the machine depending on the amount of counterweight that you may have installed at the exact time. Um, to activate or originally set the system up, you want to fully raise the machine up and level it on outriggers as we already have. And then you, were, you would apply uh, cribbing to the fifth jack underneath the front of the machine and run the jack completely down. Uh, at this point in time, we'll show the fifth jack being run down um, and then we can continue on with operation. Activation of cribbing mode from the side key panels is initiated by double depressing the fifth jack or center front stabilizer button twice in consecutive order quickly. We can now see that each one of these LEDs are highlighted in red, which means the system is temporarily locked into cribbing mode. In the event that you would overload the front stabilizer, exceeding the 4,500 pounds of pressure. These two LEDs would begin to blink in red and naturally you would be stopped from pulling the front stabilizers up off the ground. At that point in time, you would have to reconfigure the angle of the boom. So as you can see, the system timed out. There is a timer if uh, at any given time that you've entered cribbing mode and you've not proactively begin to run anything, the machine will go back to normal outrigger operation. So to enter back in, you simply depress the button twice again, and we are now reactive. We're going to now raise the front jacks. At this point in time, we can see the front stabilizers have been lifted from the ground um, and the machine is being held by the fifth jack. You would now add dunnage or cribbing to the front stabilizers and continue to build the crane up. Keep in mind, for actual application on the job site, you would have started by adding dunnage or cribbing to the fifth jack. But for technical information, we have skipped that process and just showed the steps as we walk through cribbing mode. So now that we've covered cribbing mode from the carrier, we are now going to cover superstructure operation of cribbing mode. With the crane running, we are now looking at the ODM or the operating display of the machine. So we're going to access our main menu, go to our outrigger icon, which is selected in orange. We select our outriggers. We have options along the bottom starting at return to menu, outrigger beams, 
outrigger jacks, all four outrigger jacks, auto level, and center front stabilizer features. To access cribbing mode from the superstructure operating display, we will select jacks. Now we have an additional icon display, on off, next to the indicated fifth jack. We can also see what the pressure of our fifth jack is. Next, what we want to do is go ahead and lower our fifth jack until we see a pressure increase letting us know that the fifth jack is down so that we can activate cribbing mode. We have now seen a pressure increase and it is maintained letting us know that the fifth jack is on the ground. We will go back to our jack operation. We will scroll up to cribbing mode turn it on. We now have an auto up cancellation icon showing us that whenever we retract our two front jacks, the fifth jack will not automatically come up as happens in uh, normal operation, normal outrigger operation. We now retract our front jacks so that we could place more cribbing or dunnage under the jacks. We can also see that we now have a pressure overload on the front jack. So we would place more we would place more cribbing under our front jacks, pick the crane back up to level. Exit cribbing mode. Now we have all four jack operation. We would want to come down, come back to our center front stabilizer, and retract that stabilizer to place more cribbing or dunnage underneath the fifth jack. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode. As always, I hope it was informative, and I hope it helps clear some questions up on cribbing mode for the new truck mount machines.